And now, let's meet the NFC champion, Carolina Panthers. Today is the day that nothing else matters. All the hard work you put in, the blood, sweat, and tears, it's all worth it. Nothing is given to you, everything is earned. This is the ultimate prize. This is our time. Just having fun. Can you believe it? There's going to be struggles. There's going to be things that don't go your way. Got to keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. They just keep fighting. Keep pounding. The NFC champions are the Carolina Panthers. Now, let's meet the AFC champion, Denver Broncos. It's been the ultimate team season. I think we really embody what a team is. This is everything we've been working for since we were young. What a catch! It's a lot of work, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears. One game, one opportunity. Go get it. Touchdown! We're coming for you. Unbelievable! We want to win as a team, want to win it for each other. Ain't nothing to talk about. It's only one reason we're here, and it's going to take all 53 guys to win the game. We're going to the Super Bowl. Everyone's going to have to do their part. That's the only way we'll have a chance to win. And a game that began back on January 15th, 1967, the old NFL AFL Championship. Now, the 50th Super Bowl commences. We will have a return. Stepping up for it is Caldwell, and he's out to about the 20. We'll move Daniels over to the right side, and here come the Panthers chasing after Manning, who gets it away in time, and Daniels is tight in, has an 18-yard gain. Third and four. Aiden dropping back even deeper, and now releases. He's got an open target and a first down on the Carolina side of the field. And a first down at the Carolina 34. Their first rush of the game, and it's Anderson up ahead for about seven as the game goes along. And he's from the local area across the bay in Vallejo. He's got it again. He's got the first down with ease. And another first down. Now with the Carolina 14. It's Hillman. He slips, and he's in trouble, and he's not back. Second down and 13. He has not been targeted on this opening drive. Manning looking to the right. Yes, knocked down. Seven for seven in the postseason. Hold by Fulquit, and the kick is good. They pick up three first downs. So both drives for the Panthers have begun inside their own 20. And it's Cam's pass. It's bobbled and Kotchery, they say incomplete sideline came in and he was the one who signaled incomplete. Country looking to the sideline telling the coaches I got it. After a review of the play the ruling on the field stands is called is an incomplete pass. Carolina will be charged with its first timeout. 18 carries a game Mike Tolbert is in he's on a wing to the right. And the Panthers have a third and ten. Here comes pressure, and they've gotten to him. The ball is out in the end zone, and it's recovered by Malik Jackson for the touchdown. It was Vaughn Miller with the strip sack, and Jackson with the recovery.
Nobody opened down the field fast enough, and Von Miller beats Rimmers and the tight end to the right. Here it comes. Mike Rimmers just can't get there fast enough. Makes it a second and eight. Over the head. Have been on the high side. Third down and eight. Here comes DeMarcus Ware after him. And the Broncos get to him again. Darian Stewart, T.J. Ward, the safeties blitzed. The first week leading up to two-week run-up. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, taunting, defense, defense. number 21. It's a 15-yard penalty. Greatness, that's what we've seen from him, or we did during the regular season so far here in the playoffs. Denver has sacked Newton on the last two third-down occasions. Third and four, and in and out of the arms of Kotri as he was hit by Bradley Roby. Short, and star Lotulalele. Third and three, and here they come. It's Keekly who gets to Manning back at the nine. Too fast to be blocked right now by the Carolina offense. Stewart, three carries, two yards, second and 11. Last minute, quarter number one. Time for Newton to throw, and he's got Philly Brown on the sideline. Where they got off to lightning fast starts. Second and 11, second quarter begins, and Cam has taken off. He's got right there near the first down. He slides. Here's a first and 15. Time for Newton this time. Rolling out. And he's got another good game. Picked up by Vaughn Miller. And I haven't seen some of those I saw in practice yet. Third and one, an unbalanced line for Carolina. And he's going to swing it back the other side, and he's got Greg Olson. The drive that began back at the Carolina 27. Pam has Billy Brown, and he's twisted out of bounds on a face mask call. Tlaib's going to be flagged for the second time in this half. In the backfield, first and goal. It's Stewart. For the Carolina touchdown. That'll give confidence that drive to this Carolina offense. A couple Cam Newton runs. Manning switches things up at the line of scrimmage. And he's tripped up. He's down. Was he touched down? Now the ball squirts out of his hands and is picked up by Virgil Green. The incomplete. The last challenge. After review of the play, the quarterback was touched and went down by contact at the 13-yard line. Second and 17, Demarius Thomas is on the near side. Norman is on him, who backs off a little bit. Gives him seven-yard separation. Thomas has not been targeted so far. And almost intercepted by Norman. Complete. Sends it back. And Colquitt didn't catch this one. It hits right at the 50. One before the season, once in November, and then in January by the NFL. Jim? It's a pass again, and he's looking to throw it himself. But it breaks down, and the Broncos were there to shove him out. Harris for the Denver defense, their third. Third and 12. Yeah. Pat's knocked down. That's Darian Stewart to try to get to Cam. Hortman had bodies around him. He hits the deck, no flag. And Warwood, he is not tackled yet. Gets past Dixon. Gets to the 50. He's running down the sideline. And is tackled from behind. And making that tackle to save the touchdown. Sets up the Broncos at the 14. Manning in the pocket. Dumps it off. The running back. They give it to C.J. Anderson. And he's tackled short of the first. As Jared Allen. Fourth and less than a yard. Going to run it. Anderson. 
He fights for it on second effort, and there's a flag in the pile. He's able to squeeze through a tiny opening, but it doesn't Holding matter. Offense. 33-yard try coming up. Field goal attempt by McManus. Good again. Bozzi Whitaker comes back in and moves over to Cam's right side. Cam carries it out. The fake and the keep, and the ball is on the ground, and it's picked up by Vaughn Miller, but they rule him down. They rule Newton down, and now a flag comes out. They rule him down after a pickup of 14. Moving on the field is that the runner was down by contact at the 34-yard line. After the play, unnecessary roughness, personal foul, defense. And get a personal foul on himself. From the 49, it's Tolbert. And he fumbles, and Trevathan is there with the recovery. Tolbert had lost one, but recovered it in the first quarter. But this time, it's Trevathan. This last one, a fumble by Tolbert on the Denver side of the field. Second and 10. And Anderson able to break away into the secondary. Breaks another tackle. And out of bounds at the Carolina 25. From the gun. Man. Almost. Yes, he is. He's picked off. What a catch by Ely, who's still on his feet. And look at Ely. All the way out to the 39. He bobbled it, clutched it again, and has the interception. They do this a lot. The Carolina defense, they will drop. We would have had a chance to go up two scores. Here's a third and 12. Down the field and pulled down. What a catch. That's Funchess. Was outstanding all the way up to that point. With the rookie receiver from Michigan. Gives him the longest play of the game. That's off the fingertips. Second and 10. Panthers with one timeout from the 41. And a catch by Olsen. Well, that might be the reason why. Still too slow. Should have called the timeout to save the time. Newton will keep it. And he'll just drive ahead for the first down and then the timeout called by Carolina. I think he's pretty tired, but I'll tell you, that was not a very good job of using their time nope. here at the end of the first half. With pressure. Able to break away from Miller and get the football down the field incomplete. Second and 10, and that will close out the half as DeMarcus Ware pile drives Cam Newton to the ground. The speed of Denver's defense overwhelming Cam Newton. Here's second and 10, and down the middle, he's got Ginn, who's got speed. And he is out of bounds at the 35 of the Broncos. Ted Ginn in this situation. Second and nine. Snap complete. And again, it's Ted Ginn. All year long. Yes, they've won. Thank you, Tracy. They've won 11 games by seven points or less, an all time record. Second and 11. And Ken loads it up, and he's got the completion. Nope. Incomplete. Let's help this care, help this offense get down the field so far. Third and 11 from the 26. Here comes the blitz. They pick it up. And the flag again is down. There is no foul for a defensive hold on the play. Moving on the field is an incomplete pass. Brings up fourth down. 44 yards. And Gano is kick. Oh, it hits the upright and bounces away, no good. What it is? What is it? Manning. He has Sanders to the 41 of Carolina. And Coach Calvert talked about it at halftime. Look at Emmanuel Sanders. No. Second and eight. Again, it's Sanders. Ziggin and Zaggin and inside the 20 to the 17. The first player on the field in warm-ups today. It's a second and five from the 12. In the pocket. Back at the end zone and over the head. Watch Sanders at the bottom of the screen. Third and five. He's gotten him down here on this drive. And 
Throws it his way, and it's batted in the air incomplete. This is a 30-yarder for McManus, and he remains perfect in the postseason. He's run for another 45. Looking for the deep ball. Way down on the field, and it is pulled down. They had two Denver defenders back there, and Brown leaps into the air. Coming over again, he steps back. And look at him get away. Reverse course. He's got 200 yards passing right on the number. Second and six. Running outside on Stewart. Play action. Here they come. Newton got it away. And again, it was DeMarcus Ware. Intercepted by T.J. Ward. Went through the hands again, and he fumbles it. Picked up by Trevathan, who had a recovery in the first half. Trevathan has the football. Hand off to Anderson. He's going to give him some room, and he's still on his feet. And look at him move the pile for the first. The second and ten. Go. Pressure on Manning. And it's Ely who gets to him for his second sack of the game. Second and ten. Open. It's good. But his value of catching deep ones down the field far outweighs the drops. Got the snap off just in time, and they're on him. But Newton's able to get free, and that is ruled incomplete. Third and eight. Here comes the pressure. Nowhere to go. And Newton's down at the 22. Wolf and Miller is 15 minutes away from his 200th all-time win regular season in playoffs. Would be the first to ever get there. That close to the perfect Sandoff. Here's a second and 10 completion. And it's Sanders out to about the 49. And a flag on the back end of it. After the play, unsportsmanlike conduct, defense number 33. Fifth penalty of the half from Carolina, none so far against Denver this half. Ball comes out of the hands of Manning, and he falls on it. Suddenly things turn around. He comes in, week 17, provided a spark. Third and 14. Ball's out of his hand. And it's recovered by Carolina, it looked like, at midfield. Again, it was Ely who's had an active game. Tony Ely, 94, went around Ryan Harris. He's done it from both sides. He beat Schofield earlier. This time he beat Ryan Harris. And that decision. And by the way, Ely just got his third sack of the game. As Newton finds an open man. From the Denver, 34. It's Stewart. Off the left side, and we've got a first down to the 22. Fifth pre-snap penalty of the game, backs him up to the 21. For a third and 10. Got the time, and it's incomplete. And Gens looking around and saying, wait a minute, where was the flag? And the kick is good. To pick up a first down or two and change field position. Missed on their last 10, third down attempts. And it's knocked away by Norman. Pass was thrown in the direction of Demarius Thomas, who just does not look like the same player. All these pre-step penalties, why? Because they're worried about the speed around the edge. Second and 15. They see it this time. Ball's deflected at the line of scrimmage. He's out for the rest of the game with a concussion. Third and 15. Keep him about three yards short of the first down. Wow. Standing over here for all those weeks, I see we have a Super Bowl defense, and you've got to play accordingly. Cut, 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 cut. Well, you got to wonder, can they make the big throw now on third and nine? Nope, he's going to run it. Going to go back to Anderson. 
What'd you think of that call? Picks up one. Yeah, not surprised at all. Surprised it didn't work. Second and nine, and Newton's pass wide of the mark for Funchess. It's a third and nine. Rushing four, ball comes out of the hands of Newton. It's on the ground, and it's still on the ground. Picked up by T.J. Ward at the four-yard line. Vaughn Miller did it again. He knocked it out of the hands of Newton. Here he comes, number 58. Vaughn Miller against Mike Rimmers one more time. Cam Newton didn't feel it, didn't step up. Cam Newton decides not to dive in there. And yeah, take he backed Newton away from it. He, he jumped away instead of jumping into the pile. Yep, I guess he made a decision. It wasn't worth to go in there and get it. Third and goal. He's going to go up top. And he's going to throw it through the back of the end zone. But it generates a flag on the Carolina defense. Holding on to Demarius Thomas. Prior to the pass, holding defense, number 24. DPI, defensive pass interference, first and goal. And Anderson, right back in, and he's in the end zone for the touchdown. The drive from a couple out from the gun. Hits the pass to Fowler to make it 24 to 10. Steps up away from Lair and ball tipped away. You get to 24 because of the defensive plays. No question about that. All the opportunities Denver's defense has created. And it's Jackson and then Lair. Wrapping him up at the five. Getting to taste something very sweet late in his career. Third and 24. In the end zone. Gets away for a moment from Miller and now lobs it out of bounds. Just nothing, nothing there at all. Only got two. Yep. Two-minute warning. Ron Rivera says this gives me a better chance of thinking we're going to get it on fourth and 24. Well, there's no one back there for Denver. And it's finally touched down. The oh, birth of my God. son, Jameson. February 1. Here we go. Right. It's faster than it looks on TV. And timeout. Just before... The play clock ran out, and off the field, he walks. you got to think one last time. Josh Norman very openly talked about his admiration. It was his, his favorite team growing up was the Colts. Favorite player was Bob Sanders. Second favorite player was Peyton. 14 down against New England in the regular season and Cincinnati to win in overtime. I don't know if anyone ever saw the script, though, that Peyton would come back from the foot injury come back as a backup, re-enter the game. Week 17, when it was a turnover-filled start for the Broncos, give them a spark. Had they lost that game, they would have entered the playoffs as a five seed instead of a one. And it's lateral. What's going on in the game? He goes, are you ready? Peyton said yes. Gotta give Kubiak credit how decisive he was on that day. As the pass is going out of bounds, and Kubiak what a return to his football home. And he gets doused here. He's going to become the first, again, to ever win the Super Bowl as a head coach for the same team he played for. A great example of it. Newton over the top. To Whitaker. And tackled down there by Trevathan. And Kubiak giving credit to Reeves and Shanahan, Seifert, and John Harbaugh.
Said I learned a great deal passing through Baltimore last year. It's not always so much about X's and O's, but the morale of the team. With his camera trained on number 18. After the play, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Offense number 14 for a late hit. It's a 15-yard penalty, plus this situation requires a 10-second runoff. So please put one second on the game clock. One second. Mercifully, the they run it down to one ready. second. The first to ever get to 200 wins. Some of the records. And now two-time Super Bowl champion. A final star turn it is for Peyton. And the Denver Broncos have taken Super Bowl 50.